customized Dodge Super B from 1969. And let's talk about some of the mods that they've done to this car. Very heavily modified car here. This is a six figure plus car. This is a very serious build. Let's start on the hood. What looks like an original Hemi, the configuration, you look in there and only just a couple of areas don't look original, but they they wanted to maintain that original look on this build, whereas we're already blasting well over $100,000. That's a genuine Hemi's car, originally not built with a Hemi brand new, but it doesn't pre prevent anything from, you know, somebody from putting one in. It's also got air conditioning, which is not available in a Hemi, but certainly thanks to the aftermarket, that is available. It's a classic torque flight automatic transmission. The engine, even though it looked relatively stock, has been very heavily modified in the inside. It's got 355 gears and a Mosier rear end. Look at the wheel and tire treatment from the aftermarket, but yet mimicking what might have been done back in the day with five sure. spokes and redline tires. High quality paint interior. Look at the money here. And we should point out, like you said, JK, that Hemi motor uh, looks for all the world like it could have been date correct, but it's not. It's a modern, a modern build. Right. Yeah, that's a good car, but yeah, they got 175. We're out asking 180. You want to be 180 or you want to try 200 and knock them out? Wow. There we go. I think we're going to see a deal here. That's a big jump. And uh, he Jamie, it. yeah, Jamie McLeod's guy on the other end going for that knockout punch for sure. Reserves off at $200,000. Wow. We're still in. I think that did it. That we might did. very well be the magic number, and it is. That did it. Good advice there from Jamie McLeod on the telephone with that bidder to say it would go 200 and knock him out, and it did.